What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take a look at something new, and this is Solar. Um, she is, I'm not sure, is, was uh, a member of uh, MAMO. Um, and this is the second member of the group that I've done a reaction to uh, their solo stuff. I've also, I've also done a reaction to, I think it was just like two or three members of the group kind of separated and have a, have done stuff. So this group is a very, I guess, eclectic would be the word there. They're, there's like, sometimes they're doing solo stuff. They're doing sometimes that I know there's a group with just three of them and it has its own name. There's a combination of their names. Um, and I've also kind of think this is, this is probably one of the more mature groups is the best way to put it. Uh, I put them in the same kind of category with, the seraphin and stuff like that. So um, they also have kind of a very, a lot of their songs have, uh, not this one, but a lot of their other songs have kind of a deeper meaning, sometimes political meanings, uh, you know, kind of speaking to humanity and things like that. Um, but uh, this is the, I I have another reaction going up with this song in it with Blackpink. Uh, and I'll explain it in this video because I explained it in that one that uh, the song is very popular amongst uh, uh, a lot of the K-pop groups. I, I probably had five or six different versions of it pop up with different K-pop artists. And the reason is that this uh, Wham! was huge in, uh, in Asia, and particularly in China. They were the first uh, Western group to perform in China kind of after China went through kind of a cultural isolation for a while. I think, um, I don't know, they, they felt like they needed to clean out the country of outside influences. And this was kind of, the 1980s was like when they kind of came out of their shell a little bit. Um, but uh, there's a video of Wham! It's actually, a, like a, it's like a documentary video of Wham! when they went to China uh, and the whole thing. And it was like this huge deal. Um but it wasn't like you would expect um, because the Chinese people were very laid, well, laid back. So I don't know if that's the right word, but they were, they weren't allowed to be, you know, screaming and yelling and carrying on. Um, you know, like I always think of like, you know, the Beatles when they came to the, to the U.S. and the place that the people were just going crazy. Or you see even groups like Boys to Men, you know, that they go when they used to go somewhere and there'd be girls just screaming at the, you know, airport and stuff like that. There was, I don't think there were hardly any fans. There was mostly government officials to meet them. Um, it's just, it's just an interesting video to watch. Uh, and, you know, and they were so young then. It was just, it's just kind of a, an amazing thing. Uh, and then the, the, the other part of that was that they, they got in over Queen. Queen was trying to get in at the same time, and uh, their producers sold them as the clean-cut, you know, Western group as opposed to Queen, which was like this flamboyant, you know, Freddie Mercury just out there kind of group. So, anyway, yeah, this song um, is very popular. Like I said, uh, and since I've seen all these K-pop groups, I'm seeing it with China. I'm seeing it's popular in Japan too. So. Uh, yeah, let's check it out.
Merry Christmas! Wow. Yeah, that's a, they're a very talented group. They all have, uh, every time I see something, there's like, they're all stepping out, doing their own separate things and doing different things. Uh, very versatile group. Um, and again, I think they were kind of one of the more mature groups, I guess is the best way to put it, um, out there. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was good. She's, uh, she's got a great voice, um, and showed a lot of personality in that video. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very cute anyway. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like comment and subscribe. We'll see you later.